Today we are going to talk about clearing negative energy in your surroundings so the space you are in is energetically clean. We will go over two different options for space clearing, but keep in mind these are just examples. There are many other options that exist and may be more appropriate for your culture, religion or traditions. As I was growing up, I never heard of space clearing. I was taught to keep my room clean, to wash my clothes, to keep dust, clutter and dirt away. And these are healthy first steps for keeping your space in order, but we can do a little more than this. Now we are going to look into several different options for self and space clearing. The first time I encountered the concept of space clearing was during Native American ceremony, Sundance. They use sage and other herbs to, create, to clear a prayer circle and people enter in the circle. As I learned later, sage is wonderful to utilize for space and self-clearing. Can we use sage to clear or neutralize negative energy in our house or office or hotel room when we travel or clear any person or anything in the surroundings? Absolutely. There are many books written on the subject. The basic idea is to use a smudge stick and anything that passes through the smoke will become energetically clear. Jane Alexander in her book, The Smudging and Blessings Book, describes the following steps for self-cleansing. To do this, you will need smudge stick, matches, a small ceramic or stone bowl, or a large shell, and a large feather. First, light the end of your smudge stick and let it burn for a few minutes until the tip starts to smolder. You may need to fan the flames for a while to get the smudge really smoking. Then extinguish the flame so the smudge stick smokes. Then call on the spirits of the smudge to clean and protect you, saying, Sacred Sage, drive away all negativity from my heart. Take away everything unworthy and impure. First, fan the smoke toward your heart. Hold the smudge stick away from you and use a feather to fan the smoke towards you. Then take the smudge smoke over your head, down your arms, and down the front of your body. Imagine the smoke lifting away all the negative thoughts, emotions, and energies that have attached themselves to you. Breathe in the smudge. Visualize the smoke purifying your body from the inside. Please be careful if you suffer from asthma or respiratory difficulties. Experiment cautiously. Now bring the smoke down the back of your body toward the ground. Visualize the last vestiges of negativity being taken back into the earth, away into the air. Repeat your smudging once again this time calling on the spirit of sweet grass in this way. Sacred sweet grass, bring me the positive energy I need to do this work. Help me to come into balance. Purify my soul. As you smudge, imagine yourself being surrounded by gentle, loving energy. Breathe in positivity, courage, and love. To use the smudging for space clearing, the following steps are recommended. To clean the space in which you are in, light your smudge stick as you did for self-clearing and smudge yourself and anyone with you. Walk around the room, then in smoke with a feather into each corner. Call on the spirits of sage, as in the self-clearing, to drive away all negativity from the room. Then repeat asking the spirit of sweet grass to bring harmony and balance to the room. Come to the center of the room and stand quietly for a few moments. Turn to the east of the room and fan smudge out into that direction four times, saying, Spirit of the East, Great Spirit of Air, cleans and inspires this space. Turn to the South and smudge four times, saying, Spirit of the South, Great Spirit of Water, strengthen and bring peace to this space. Now turn to the west and smudge four chimes, saying, Spirit of the west, great spirit of fire, energize and protect this space. Turn to the north and smudge four chimes, saying, Spirit of the north, great spirit of earth, ground and clean this space. 
Return to your original position and look upwards, sending smudge up to the ceiling four times. Say, Great Father Sky, ground this place from above. Now finally squat over the floor and send smudge down to the floor four times, saying, Great Mother Earth, nurture this space from below. Put down your smudge stick and stand quietly with your eyes shut. Visualize the great spirits you have summoned standing guard around your room. You can imagine them as great archangels or the four animal spirit keepers of Native American tradition. Buffalo for the north, eagle for the east, coyote for the south, and grizzly bear for the west. Visualize the loving energy of the mother and father spirits above and below you. Give thanks to all of them. If you love sage and prefer more of a ritual form of space or self-clearing, you may find this option helpful. There are many less formal variations of sage clearing. Some things to keep in mind. Set an intention to clear your house of any lingering negative energy using any words that feel right to you. Light your sage. Remember, it is the smoke, not the flame, that clears the energy. Then wave your sage stick around you, around your whole house, to get the smoke into every area of your space. When I had my cellar of cleansing with Patty, she suggested that I used curry powder to clear the space in my house. I used crock pot in each room of my house with boiling curry powder for long periods of time. Both sage and curry cleansings are wonderful and effective, but require specific items to be at hand. They may be easy to do at home, but not very appropriate for travel or office use. At Mining Center, we utilize candles for space clearing. I use it for my home and office clearing as well as stay at the hotel. One may ask, why would you consider using space clearing for the hotel room? Because each person that stays there and each person that cleans or repairs that room has impact on the energy of that room. What if the people who stayed there a night before had a fight? Or that room is still full of that negative energy? People bring their moods feelings, and emotions into any space they occupy. Like thoughts and words, it is all energy. And that energy stays in the environment that people are in. It is in our best interest to neutralize or clear that energy so it will not have negative effects on us. I used to travel a lot for business and noticed that I rarely was able to sleep and rest during hotel stays. On one of such trips, I had to do a big presentation next morning and really wanted to get a good night rest. That night, I was talking to a friend of mine who is an infotherapist, and she suggested that I do space clearing and see if it makes a difference. I went to the store and bought small candle in a glass jar, and as I returned to the room, I did the cleansing. I went to bed that night and slept restfully until my wake-up call. Since then, I use candle clearing during all my travels, even when I stay over at my relatives or friends. After clearing, I notice shift in energy of the room, and I am able to sleep restfully at night. At Muggin Center, we use the following steps for space clearing. Please note that you may use any candle, but I, I found that it is best to use a candle in a small glass jar. It will be safe and comfortable to hold in your hand without spills, and it can continue burning safely in the room in that jar before disposal. Walk slowly in clockwise direction. Turn the candle in your left hand counterclockwise. Notice how the flame of the candle acts. If it makes cracking sound or smokes or starts having black color as it drips, or if you see any other abnormalities, Stay in that spot, continue turning the candle until the flame returns to its normal state. Once you finish with the entire room, leave the candle in this room to finish burning. Once the candle finished burning, throw it away into a garbage container outside of your house. During this cleansing, you can say the following prayer. Archangel Michael, 
Please come to me. I need your help and support. Help me purify my house, my aura, and the aura of my family, our past, present, and future of all negative energy and information. Archangel Michael, please break and severe all ties that connect me and my family to sources and people, taking away our strengths, health, success, and well-being. Please raise the level of our health, energy, and well-being to the level and state given to us by God. Or we may use another prayer or say other words stating your intentions or asking for help and support in this process. For each room of your house, you will need a separate candle. Please pay special attention to the corners of the room. Negative energy is often stored there. Also, spaces around TV and computers may need more attention. If you are staying at the hotel, clear the space around the bed and other furniture. Dispose of the candle either at your bathroom trash can or garbage container outside of your room. And since we are using candles, please never leave it unattended or around children. Initially, you may do this clearing three times in your house and afterwards use as maintenance. When you would want to do space clearing? In general, after you had guests in your house, or after a fight in your house. You may also do it after you move to a new house or apartment, or if someone is sick in your home. Also, if someone comes to your house and their energy feels uncomfortable to you or if there are negative emotions or events happening in your house. And just as you do regular cleaning of your house, you may do energy clearing as well. Also, it is very helpful to open your windows regularly to let your house breathe, breathe and let go of stale energy. I also use candle light to clear the items I buy or give away. If you give your items away to a thrift shop or friends or as donation to agency or person, clear them with candlelight to clear your energy and make them neutral. Also, if you buy second-hand items in antique stores, garage sales, or thrift shops, or get items belonging to your family past through generations, it may be helpful to clear them from the energy they carry before you use them or place them in your house. What can you do to protect yourself from negative energy? You can definitely use Pegasus Color Works with the idea of the cocoon being a shield to protect you from negative energy entering into your aura. You can also create a shield using a magnet. I simply use any magnet hanging on my refrigerator. If you do it for yourself, you would move the magnet from your third eye up toward your back as far as you can reach with the following intention and words. I now am placing a shield around myself which will block all negative energies from reaching me. It will allow love and positive energies in. It is permanent. It covers me completely. If you do it for another person, you would move the magnet from their sore eye toward their back until you reach the base of the spine with the following words. I now am placing a shield around you, which will block all negative energies from reaching you. It will allow love and positive energies in. It is permanent. It covers you completely. During Magen seminar, Your Health is in Your Hands, I teach several different ways to protect yourself from negative energy reaching you and being recorded within your body, among other things. During the seminar, we create a shield that is incredibly effective for protecting self and your loved ones. Information about the upcoming seminar and dates for the seminar presentation will be posted on Healing Within and Magen websites. Thank you for joining me tonight. Feel free to call me or email me if you have more questions or would like additional information regarding this topic, seminar, or services I provide. Have a wonderful evening, everybody.